This is a breakdown of the second episode of Breaking Bad, Caps in the Bag. Keep track of how many of the 25 details you already knew and leave a comment with your number. It was filmed six months after the pilot since it took a long time for the show to get picked up. But we start right where we left off in the pilot, unfortunately. Walt has more side effects from cancer. This doesn't go unnoticed by Skyler. Breaking Bad loves its time jumps, but this is the last time the show explains it on screen. We see how they got out of the desert, paying off the tow truck guy with a bunch of chemical soaked money. This explains why Walt dried the money at the end of the pilot, but the money being in a paper bag is strange since Crazy 8 had brought it in a plastic bag. We will go our separate ways, our paths. We'll never cross. That goes double for me. Which you can already sense is not in the cards. Then they make the shocking discovery that Crazy 8 isn't dead. The plan was that he would die in the pilot with Emilio, but Vince Gilligan changed his mind because the actor, Maximino Arciniega, was so popular with the cast and crew. After the title, we're back to the present day for breakfast, Walt Jr.'s favorite time of day. Cleavage. We can't come to the phone right now, so please leave us a message. Hello, Mr. White. This is AT&T calling. Are you happy with your uh, current long distance service? Jesse needs help from Walt, but they don't do a good job of hiding it from Skylar. We got loose ends here. Calm down. I will be there after school. A after school? Are you shitting me? Ditch it, man. Call in sick. I would appreciate it if you don't call here anymore. Damn, they're so annoying, those people. Yo, yo, one, four, eight, three to the three to the six to the nine, representing the ABQ. What up, Biatch? This episode is directed by Adam Bernstein, Gretchen's real-life husband. At school, Walt's anxiety causes him to hallucinate. Yes, Ben. Is this gonna be on the murder? What? Is this gonna be on the midterm? Walt raids his supply closet again, this time for hydrofluoric acid. Although the labels misspell it as hydrofloric. Also, the high school has six gallons of it, which is a ridiculous amount for even a college to have, let alone a high school. Back at Jesse's house, we see a junk drawer still filled with his Aunt Jenny's belongings that he never cleared out, and he hilariously uses some makeup to improve the appearance of his eye. He discovers that Crazy 8 is gone, but luckily Walt runs into him on the way over and brings him back to Jesse's house. This tree is really a block away from Jesse's house in real life, although Crazy 8 is actually running toward Jesse's house in this shot. It was also shown in the pilot, but Walt owning a Pontiac Aztec is a great choice. It was a notoriously underachieving SUV, and the show painted it a custom pale green, a color associated with season one Walt. Meanwhile, Skylar does some sleuthing and connects the phone number from Jesse's answering machine to his name, address, email, and website that pretty clearly identify him as Captain Cook, so it's pretty hilarious that she cracked a case that the DEA could not. We see his address, which is a fictional street. The real address is well well known and the house's real interior was used in season one. Skylar correctly types in the number we heard on Jesse's answering machine, which is quite a feat since for some reason the paper says a different number. The search engine and phone lookup tool Skylar uses is called Finder Spider, and this fake search engine is used in many TV shows, either as Finder Spider or Spider Finder. It was first used in Prison Break, but also Journeyman, CSI, Criminal Minds, Weeds, Touch, Bosch, The Finder, and The X-Files. Jesse's my shout page, mimicking MySpace, is filled with interesting details. He already mentions the Crystal Ship, his name for the RV, so he's really on top of his internet presence. He went to DeVry after high school, and you see a reference to his band, which is shown in one of the Breaking Bad online minisodes. Unplugged. Also, in the real world, the myshout.us domain is owned by Sony Pictures, but just redirects to their normal website. What is his reputation for violence? He did try to kill us both yesterday, so there's that. This episode is really funny and showcases the dynamic between these two. Now, if it was me and I couldn't find a decent enough weapon, I would just lie back down. Jesse once again shows some smarts by realizing they should restrain Crazy 8 and comes up with the bike lock plan. It seems to me that our best course of action would be chemical disincorporation, dissolving in strong acid. It's actually a weak acid, as we'll discuss later. I guess the only other fair way to go about this would be that one of us deals with the body situation while the other one of us deals with the crazy eight situation. Heads. The 
That's two out of three. Jesse found the right type of bins, but decides not to buy one because a body won't completely fit inside. Back at the house, Walt loses his nerve, and instead of killing Crazy Eight, he starts taking care of him. A crew member bumps into the camera right here. You don't like the crust? I think seeing Crazy Eight peeling off the crust triggers Walt's fatherly instincts. Walt is so stressed out, he tries some of Jesse's pot. At the sonogram, they learn they're having a girl. Can I tell you that's exactly what I was hoping? Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> you remember you said that when she's 16 and starts dating. It hits Walt that he won't be around for Holly's teenage years. Skylar notices something is off and uses this opportunity to confront him. Who is Jesse Pinkman? He sells me pot. What is wrong with you? He hilariously lets off some steam. Right now, what I need is for you to climb down out of my ass. Walt continues to struggle to keep it together at school. Stop. And Jesse prepares to dissolve Emilio. He's watching The Three Stooges, starring Mo Howard, who also had lung cancer. Detective Skyler takes matters into her own hands. You! Yes, you! My name is Skyler White, yo. My husband is Walter White, yo. Do not sell marijuana to my husband. Jesse decides to dissolve Emilio in the bathtub upstairs. The episode's title kind of references Emilio being in the bag, but it's also a reference to a 1957 movie called Sweet Smell of Success, in which a character says Catch in a bag and a bag's in a river, meaning the situation is handled. Breaking Bad loves these below-the-surface shots where the surface is magically clear, and this shot from under the tub is the first one. But check out Emilio, who has been dead for days, but his eyes move here. This is not enough protection for this much hydrofluoric acid. Airborne droplets would absorb through his exposed skin and burn, poison, and possibly kill him. Why you got me running around town trying to find some stupid piece of plastic when I have a perfectly good tub I can use? At the end of the episode, Jesse's mistake becomes apparent. However, this result got busted on an episode of Mythbusters. Despite some minor changes, the acid failed to chew through every single material. So it's clear the hydrofluoric doesn't have the same bite as Breaking Bad. But they did find a different acid that would do a better job. The bathtub looks like it's been burned some, but uh, it's completely intact. This myth is totally and doubly busted. Now might be the time to look away, but in the first shot, we see a huge blob of meat fall and land intact. But it changes into smaller parts in the remaining shots. The final scene shows children discovering Walt's mask in the desert. What's your score this time? Shout out to my channel members and my newest member, MaceJames03. This means I can now add another custom emoji. Does anyone have any suggestions?